Well, across the low country, many forced from their homes as a result of the floodwaters. And one of the hardest hit areas in North Charleston, the Pepper Hill community. News 2's Annie Taylor joins us live from the neighborhood in North Charleston this morning with the very latest there. Good morning, Annie. Hi, good morning, Octavia. Yes, we are on Peppercorn Lane. Uh, we're at the end of Peppercorn Lane where it meets Ginger Lane. This is, like you mentioned, one of the hardest hit areas here in North Charleston, and, and at least in this area. Uh, right where we're standing, the water has kind of subsided and it's gone towards uh, the back of Peppercorn Lane. Uh, one of the reasons why this community was hit the hardest wasn't just because of the heavy uh, rainstorm, but also because this backs up into a creek. And so that made the flooding come into these homes much faster than other neighborhoods. Uh, as you can see, I'm hoping behind me, these garages, they are, uh, there's a brown line that's a water line of where the water was yesterday when it was at the highest. Now, some of the residents tell us that the water was six feet high. Some of them say, no, it was just waist high. The Army Reserve even had to come in here yesterday and help assist uh, families get out of these homes, take their pets. They couldn't take their cars. They couldn't take any of their belongings, at least the belongings that were not destroyed from this heavy rainstorm. Here's a little bit about what they had to say yesterday afternoon. Everything just came up. So, I mean, really don't have anything to look forward to. The house is just demolished. The straw is just destroyed. Brand new refrigerator turned sideways. The whole house looks just like this water here. Computers, TVs, DVD players. Um, Washer and dryer, a deep freezer, and we're hoping to get my mom's Cadillac out of this garage. Now I know what people go through when they get flooded. <laughs> As you just heard, many of the items in these homes, if not all of their items, have been destroyed by this severe storm. At the very end of the block, you can't see it, but I can tell you that there is a car flipped over and the water's completely submerging that vehicle. Uh, residents, obviously, this lane is shut down, so residents are not waking up here this morning. The power has been turned off. They're either waking up at friends' or family's homes or they're over at the Red Cross shelter that was set up at RB Stall High School. When people can get back into their homes, that's still to be determined. We're going to send it back to you guys for now.